The members of the royal family are known for exuding a certain air of grace. They are living in the public eye after all. So they have to live their lives with a level of etiquette and poise that most of us will never have to worry about. Most times, this probably isn't a problem for the royals, especially the queen who has been behaving this way for so long that it most likely comes second nature. But what did they do when they're angry? How did they show the family members that they are not pleased without blowing up at one another in public? In the queen's case, she loves to throw shade and subtle jabs. Here are some of the best times that she shaded her own family. Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles It was no secret that Queen Elizabeth II was not a super fan of Prince Charles's affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. This made it even harder for him to introduce her to the public as his wife. Before making his relationship official, he begged his mom to stop being so cold to Bowles and give them her blessing. But, the Queen was unrelenting. According to Tom Bowers' book, Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles, the Queen continued to give Bowles the cold shoulder. I want nothing to do with her, she said. Prince Andrew though Prince Andrew is definitely close to the Queen's heart, she doesn't let him have his way all of the time. When he requested that his two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Eugenie, be full-time working royals, she denied his plea, meaning that they would not be receiving paychecks from the Privy Council. Guess the Queen thought it was time to put the girls to work. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle The Queen's feelings for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle change based on which news outlet you are reading. In their engagement interview, Markle and Harry alluded to Markle's meetings with the Queen going well. It's incredible, Marl said of meeting Her Royal Highness. I think, you know, a to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother. All of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her I had such a deep understanding and, of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And we've had her really, she's an incredible woman. View this post on Instagram today, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's son Archie was christened at private chapel at Windsor Castle. The Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke. Seated L.R. The Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke of Sussex, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, the Duchess of Sussex, the Duchess of Cambridge Standing, L.R. The Prince of Wales, Miss Doria Ragland, Lady Jane Fellows, Lady Sarah McCorkidale, the Duke of Cambridge. This second photograph of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and Archie was taken in the Rose Garden at Windsor Castle. Chris Allerton, copyright Sussex Royal A post shared by the Royal Family, at their Royal Family, on July 6, 2019 at 8.23am Pacific Daylight Saving Time and the Queen's most trusted confidence, her dogs, reportedly took to Markle as well. But even the dog's approval didn't guarantee Markle and Prince Harry everything that they wanted. The couple are understood to have set their hearts at first on Windsor Castle, and are believed to have asked the Queen if living quarters could be made available after their marriage, royal expert Royal Nickar said.